remember in the last video i had mentioned uh, my husband and i usually go to buy meat from kafiwe from Tempak, from the abattoir uh, one of the things they gave us among us the offers uh was the heart of a cow now my mother never prepared the heart of a cow in my life even at all I've, I've never eaten i've never prepared i've never eaten i've never seen other people prepare it the only thing i did to prepare me for this video was watch youtube videos because i mean that's what you is for it's for teaching one another how to do certain things so yeah so my only uh best of reference is youtube i've watched youtube videos um yeah i've watched some indian videos i've watched some american in videos um of how to repair heart though most of those videos were focusing on pig heart so i'm hoping the texture and the feel of the cow heart and the pig heart are the same but these are enemies though uh. <laughs> anyway so <laughs> so i'm hoping the texture and the feel um is the same um some some chefs were recommending frying but um, most of them were saying it's a bit on the tougher side especially the pig heart so i don't know about the cow heart the cow heart looks really muscular it looks like it's got a lot of muscle around it obviously the heart is a muscle but it looks like it's got really tough muscles around it and it's understandable because the cows are really big yeah so let's get into it the people at the abattoir um, really did a good job of draining the heart it didn't have blood in it but i made sure i washed it about around three times just to make sure all the remaining dirt and blood uh, was out it was at this point i realized my knife was as blunt as a butter knife the Namsa taught me a trick on how to sharpen a knife um, I don't have those knife sharpeners, so actually she didn't teach me. I just saw it. I just saw her doing it. Uh, she used a ceramic cup, and you get your knife and just do this. It becomes so sharp. This muscle of this heart is. So muscular, so it needs a sharp knife. I cut the heart in bite-sized pieces. I was not sure of the texture, as I had mentioned. I have I have never cooked heart before, so I cut it in really small pieces. So it was easier for it to cook, as well as for it to be eaten, even by the youngest person in our house. And I realized it had so much fat in muscle um, though the fat was more than the muscle itself so i tried by all means to remove the excess fat to cut it off to cut it out that takes more than an hour to cook i usually use this pot um i'm hoping the heart meat is not so that doesn't even make sense i'm hoping the heart is not so tough i hope it's tender so i'm going to boil it for around 30 minutes then i'll take a test i'll test it if it's still a bit tough then i'll boil it for i think maximum an hour then i fry it because most people are saying it doesn't take that long to cook so that's the thing so let me just put it in the potty <laughs> no not in the pot <laughs> let me put it in the pot and put it on the stove halfway through the cooking process i realized i don't have enough spice to spice it so i was going to do it the old-fashioned way you know the way our parents used to cook just with onion and green pepper no spice 
yeah but it has a really nice different aroma from all the meat i've tasted um i'm hoping it tastes good also so let me just make the gravy let me show you how it's done so i like to cut my onions in small pieces i didn't have garlic so that's all i put some onion and green pepper then when i was done cutting those in small pieces i then started grating the tomatoes because i feel like soup is a lot when you get the tomatoes unlike um cutting them so i grated one tomato I don't know what to like. I can't place the test anywhere. Um, I don't have anything to compare it with, but it's not so tender, neither is it so tough. It's in between. It tastes like liver 2.0, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's according to my taste buds. But yeah, so I just added salt and that's it salt and water. It's been boiling for an hour now. I'm going to make gravy right about now. I usually like to fry my meat in the very pot before adding tomatoes and onion just to have that nice brown color. And I made a mistake. I added cooking oil. I didn't know that the heart is a fatty piece of meat but yeah so i fried that for some time then i covered a lid just to make sure it's a bit brown because i like my meat brown after a few minutes i continued frying and frying um, when i was satisfied with the way it was looking i added the green pepper and onions and i fried that till it was fragrant um from there I then added the tomatoes and oh and I found um, and I found peri peri spice in my cabinet so I added that also which you're going to see in a bit I let that simmer for a few minutes when the tomato was cooked um, for a while I added some salt um, then I also added a bit of Royco just to make the gravy thick to a consistency I liked. When I added the Royco, I let that uh, simmer for a few more minutes just to have everything incorporated. So I'll give the heart um, a seven, no, a six out of ten, simply because it was so fatty and I don't like a lot of fat. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice piece of meat. But I don't think I'm going to uh, eat again or cook it again because it's very, very fatty. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I learn to bake it another way. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, especially comment. Tell me how you cook the hearts so that I can also have an idea. Maybe I still cook it right.